Hello friends and hello student. My name is Ashok Sijala. In this session, we learn the dynamic string in C language. So yes, so first I share my laptop screen and here fix the position so you can watch better in my video lecture. And here Turbo C++, I double click and take some process. And now yes is open. Alter F file menu, taking new file. And here our goal, write a program to print dynamic string using malloc or calloc and free function. Yes, so that is a dynamic memory location function. So then and then we can assign the reserve block internal memory. So yes, now you have to know I. My previous video lecture, I give the syntax and all. So, so malloc calloc is return data type is a void. Filter, so we can type casting. So yes, so let us take so stdio dot h and console on your dot h console input output and and void main yes for main function. And then first we can declare the character pointer yes that str string. And then integer n for size, just n, not s, n. Yes, uh, you have to also s, but uh, s or string name. So here, no size for s. So. And then here, that is, we can say that enter number, or we can say that uh, string directly, string size. Okay. So we have to scan the n number of characters so for n and also you can take s for size yes so n here i can scan and now we can allocate the block and you have to know very well malloc function then return data type is a void pointer so we can must be type cast so here is a character data type so character integer so integer and short so any data type your pointer variable here you can uh, type cast to that data type to here also. So that is a character pointer. And then we can type casting. So here we can just pass n because uh, that in 1D array in integer, we can multiplication of size of here as an integer. But here is a character data type. Character byte is only one. So one multiply n. So that itself, that number. So here we cannot require. So let us check both. So first I can uh, that give the full means that all are size of operator. But here that size of operator is not required because uh, that size is one character data type. So integer, double and float, that is a must be required. But in malloc or uh, that size is not required. But calloc is must be required because we have to pass two argument. Here only one argument, yes. So now let us take first one string from user. So enter one string and it is a dynamic string. Yes, so enter one string. So here we can use the get s and set str pass. But at a, <clears throat> but uh, sometimes get s function is there uh, creating problems, uh, but buffer overflow. So we can use the f flush function. So that is a solved our buffer problem. And then we can print the, our string. And that is a, the string is percentage s. And also you can uh, use the put s function, get s and put s, OK? So here str, yes. And then get ch. But get ch before we have to. Uh, release the our memory so free function we can use yes and pass your pointer array so yes so means that pointer type of variable or array that one dimension array is over that string so here i just save so dynamic yes and then string dot c so there is maximum eight character you can give the file name so here is seven no problem so yes, I compiled. Yes, there is a no error and our exe file is generated. So let us take. So I give the 20 size and let us we are okay, we are students, that type of 
So we are uh, students. Yes, let us check. Yes, that perfectly print. So that is a dynamically. Yes, here we can print the malloc. Yes, and let us check now. We can testing, but here first I uh, that is our malloc function, and here is a character pointer. So character type casting, and here size is also character. But I remove this part. Yes. Uh, so there is a no require here. Let us check. I just uh, because one multiply because that n we can pass 20 and then size of character is one. So 20 multiply one. So 20. So I that is assumption we can uh, scan as a and 20 any uh, size of you can uh, run time enter. So that is a dynamically run time. We can take the size of character uh, string. So that is a character pointer variable. And then we can scan and print get s and also let us check here. We can also put s. So that is also print. So here we can pass just yes str. So there are two time print yes. And then after here we can provide the slash and otherwise that the same yes. Let us check. So yes, uh, we give the ten only and then f five. BCSM1. Yes, so that two time print. Yes, look. So because that put S and we can print print a percentage S. So that formatting symbol is percentage S. So there is a no require. Yes, that my uh, testing. And that is I already checked. So very uh, simple because uh, we have to understand. So size of is a one of character, but the integer then that. The, integer floor double that must be you can uh, multiply size of operator here is not require only one character of character data type and let us check now i use the calloc function so calloc function yes must be here because there are two arguments and malloc is only one argument so here we can pass the yes, size of must be so let us check that same there is no any error yes, let us check run so yes i give some yes uh, we can paste this there. Uh, we can say that computer. Okay. Yes, that perfectly print. So yes, and now we can. Uh, that is same here over. Uh, we can say that here over uh, scanning part declaration and scanning. Yes, uh, here all are that uh, scan, and that is a printing. So in between we can take some definition. Yes. Uh, now our definition write a program to enter one dynamic string and print in the one word per one line that is pyramid type so let us check so here i uh, give a that is a i for our for loop and then we can print yes uh, so here after we have to take our output so that is a our string is print so yes, let us check here. No problem. So that is zero. I initialize index start with zero and string that is a one D array. Yes, you can use no any error. So slash and null that is not turn equal to null because that uh, every string terminate with null value. Yes, and then here we can do mm, one if else condition. Yes, so then and then print. So here. First, we can take str of i and we can say that uh, if uh, that is not equal to uh, blank, yes. So, not equal to blank, so that we can print, yes. So, that is that we can print uh, percent c and then str of i, yes, one character at a time. And else part we can print if uh, that is a plain. So we can provide the slash and only two line. So that is a new line. So one line for one uh, word because that uh, every word which in, in between one blank is there. So let us take, yes. And, uh, here I use, yes. So let us I give 20 and we can be our students, that type of statement. So yes, look, so we are student, yes, and our the string is that we have to after print. So yes, we, so here, there are two, yes, here I give the slash and there is print. 
and he, uh, yes, here again I use the malloc. So there is malloc and calloc. So there is a here comma to asterisk sign. There is no any change. Yes, one argument. So that is a perfect reward. Yes, look. So yes, now I give same string. So we are uh, students. Okay. So let us check. Yes, that perfectly. So we are a student. So one blank that is new line and one line per one word that is a printed. So that is a dynamic and we can print three times one string. So that is pyramid technique means one uh, line, one word and then percentage S and then put S. Okay. So percentage C and percentage S we have to both use. So here all string print with percentage S. Here one character of string that percentage C and put S just that directly print. No any formatting symbol is required. So three techniques we can print the string. Yes, and here I again use malloc function. Yes, and then free is a free form over memory dynamically so release the memory that known and, and also one word deallocation the memory. So yes, that I define very simple definition and then after you can apply to all definition reverse of string counting of the string how many integer digits, that type of also from definition, yes, and palindrome string. So apply to your all logic to dynamic string because you have to just use the malloc or calloc depend upon your requirement. So there is a internal that one argument and malloc is required one argument, calloc required two argument. And malloc is a allocate the memory in the bytes and first byte assigned to our pointer variable and calloc assign the array element size internal and first initialized to zero and then first element assigned to our pointer variable. So that is a difference. So uh, measurement of unit in malloc is a bytes and measurement of unit in the calloc is a array. Yes, that is a difference. So malloc versus calloc, I also revised because already my one video lecture, malloc versus calloc in YouTube channel. So yes, uh, now I finish very simple and that uh, interesting dynamically uh, scan uh, means string and print. And we can also one take one definition to your preference. So yes, now I close this uh, file and write this program to your C notebook. Very simple, but interesting session for your knowledge. Uh, dynamically string, how to scan and how to print. So malloc and free function or calloc or free function you have to use and character pointer yes that is and that is a one d array Char array and pointer correlated concept internal memory array work is a pointer and pointer working internal memory is an array so here we can declare character string pointer but here we can use as a one d array yes same so you can know very well so yes now i close alter f3 function key and then quit. So yes, subscribe my channel or show Sija like when you press the bell icon to never miss any update. Thanks for your watching, supporting and sharing my video lecture and Hare Krishna.